we are coming to you on demand from the red carpet at the Soul Train Awards. Paparazzi, actors, musicians, comedians, you name it, and we are going to bring it to you on this episode of Movie Stars. I am here on the red carpet with Mr. CeeLo Green himself. How are you doing tonight? I'm good, darling. How about you? I am fabulous. Finally. <laughs> write it down. Finally destination. But we don't know when. It could or be. destination finally. Is there a reason for that? Is she distancing herself from the show a little bit? Ooh, you asked some juicy questions. <laughs> Take a little Lotus Redding mixed with a little Marvin Gaye. Throw in a little Jodeci. <laughs> and then a little Robin Thicke. Yes, and of course Robin Thicke. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about the dilemma, what it was like shooting and just some funny moments on set. It was great. We just had a blast doing it. This is kind of common for you. Fans going crazy everywhere now. I mean, it is, but it, it isn't. So how's it been this afternoon in Atlanta? It's been good fun. Yeah. Lots of passionate fans out here. It's good. Yes, it's packed. They are so excited. They went nuts when you pulled up. It did. It was uh, it's very exciting. It's very <laughs> flattering. Yeah. <laughs> So do you see any similarities in yourself and Lucky? Well, in a way, uh, in a way. You know, you look like a gangster and all, right? Oh, yeah, right. I walk around and I hold up Starbucks. Oh, look at how it all turned out now. <laughs> it turned out great. Best new artist, up for best new artist. All I ever wanted Fun. to do was dance with TLC. <laughs> it's my dream. Childhood. Sad. <laughs> What was it like working on Think Like a Man? What a great cast you're a part of. A great cast and we're all friends. He's hysterical. It, oh, he's oh. always hysterical. You just aren't even ready. Yeah, I gotta <laughs> check him out. Are you sad knowing that it's coming to an end with the cast? Um, it's definitely, you know, a little bittersweet. So what inspired the book? What inspired Act Like a Lady, Think Like a Man? I mean, my daughters and my wife. I know you could go on and on for days. I don't think you have enough tape. I don't think so either. So can you just share a few of your personal career highlights with us. What was it that was most special to you in creating this film? I think it's what Octavia said is that we started the film thinking it was like a civil rights film and it ended up being this film about relationships. So speaking of man, you've got your show out talking about being a family man. What's that experience been like for you showing a little bit of a different side? Well, it was an extreme opportunity, an extreme opportunity and an absolute pleasure. The red carpet has been packed with celebrities and we have had a great time bringing it to you. Until next time, I am Melanie Snare for another episode of Movie Stars.